What's up guys welcome back. So in the previous video we saw how to print a solid diamond shaped pattern using python. So in this video we are going to see how to print a hollow diamond shaped pattern using python. Okay. We will approach this program step by step. So here in the rows we have the indexing is starting from 0 and it is ending at 6 so that means this figure contains 7 rows and also in the columns the indexing is starting from 0 and it is ending at 6 so that means this figure contains 7 columns okay so here i am in jupyter notebook so first i am going to take a for loop for row for row in range i need to start the range function from 0 and i need to end it at 6 so for that what i will do is i will take the start value as 0 and i am going to uh, give the end value as 7 because always the last value is excluded in the range function so let us print row and what we have let us print the row and let's see what it is going to print okay there you can see the start value is 0 and it is ending at 6 so so here the last value is excluded okay so the first for loop is for row and i'm going to take another for loop for column for column in range and also in the column i need to start the range function from 0 and i need to end it at 6 so for that i will give same value like i did for the row so i'm going to start the value from 0 and i'm going to end it at 7 okay so after this i need to take conditions so if okay so here uh, first we will try to print these stars all right okay so here you can see the first star is at third column and at zero throw okay so zero throw and third column okay and this second star is at first row and second column first row and second column okay and this third star is at second row and first column second row and first column and this last star is at third row and zeroth column third row and zeroth column okay so this is basically when i add row plus column i am getting three you can check row plus column is equal to three okay here you can see zero plus three is three and one plus two is three and two plus one is 3 and 3 plus 0 is 0 okay that's the first condition so if row plus column is equal to 3 okay that's the first condition and we will see the second condition okay now that we have printed these stars I need to print these stars okay these stars so here you can see uh, this star is at fourth column and first row so that is I'm going to give here first row and fourth column first row and fourth column and this star is at second row and fifth column second row and fifth column and the last star this star is at third row and sixth column third row and sixth column so basically when i subtract column minus row i'm getting 3 okay here you can see 4 minus 1 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 and 6 minus 3 is 3 okay so that's the second condition here i need to print or okay not and so column minus row is equal to 3 row is equal to 3 that's the second condition okay now let's see the third condition okay now that i have printed these stars and these stars i need to print these okay i'll take another color all right so i have this star at fourth row and fifth column fourth row and fifth column and this star at fifth row and fourth column fifth fifth row and fourth column and this last star at 
sixth row and third column sixth row and third column okay so basically when i add row plus column i'm getting nine row plus column is equal to nine you can check four plus five is nine five plus four is nine and six plus three is nine that's the third condition okay or when row plus column is equal to nine okay that's the third condition now i need to print the last condition so i'll take another color i need to print these two stars okay so here you can see this star is at fourth row and first column fourth row and first column and fifth row and second column fifth row and second column so here basically when i am subtracting row minus column i'm getting 3 you can see here 4 minus 1 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 so that's the last condition or when row minus column is equal to 3 i need to print what i need to print these stars all right so print star okay i need to end them in a straight line end in a straight line so that is because uh, during the first iteration it will print this star and during second iteration it will print these stars so to keep the console in the same line that's the reason why i am giving end end equal to empty okay so if this condition fails i need to print what so else i need to print print these empty spaces right so for that i'll give empty and also i'll end the these empty spaces in a straight line okay so it will print these empty spaces in a straight line so after completing this first uh, column iteration i need to jump to another line so for that i'll print just new line so notice how this print function is inside this row for loop not inside this column for loop okay so let's just execute this and let's see what we get there you can see it has printed the hollow shaped pattern we have achieved this pattern okay so this is how you print a diamond shaped pattern using python you can try this for different uh, values of rows and columns okay i hope you guys got this and yeah that's about it and i'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care